Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to play in my napkin journal. And as you know, I love napkin journaling. I have several of these. Um, and here we go. It was uh, upside down. I made many, many. I have a playlist where I uh, display all my napkin journals. They are all on video, more or less. I think only a couple of them aren't. Um, and I know you love them too uh, because it's a very easy way of journaling, uh, very satisfying and um, it's also very cost efficient, uh, it's just a napkin. And I receive many questions uh, from you, where do you buy your napkins, where can I get the napkins, uh, how can I get them. Uh, I'll tell you where I get them, I uh, when I receive questions I try to answer but uh, Finally, I reached out uh, to uh, to this uh, shop where I love the napkins and also they have gorgeous, gorgeous rice papers and I know you love them too. So don't forget to check out my playlist down below at the description area, uh, napkin journals uh, and there are tons of them. Uh, if you are new to art journaling, even if you're not, I strongly recommend. It's so much fun, uh, easy and quick. Uh, I generally buy my napkins from napkinshop.co.uk uh, and I'm going to give the link down below at the description area again and they ship worldwide. That's why I wanted to uh, I wanted to tell because many of you are in different parts of the world and they shop worldwide and also they were so kind I asked them could you give a, a unique discount code for my uh, for my followers because we all love napkin journaling here. Uh, and they were very happy to do that so thanks to them as well very appreciative uh, the code is on the screen and down below at the description area as well for a 10% discount uh, for your purchases any purchases uh, from that shop so I hope this helps uh, I just wanted to help I don't get a commission uh, from it um, and this video is not sponsored so they are not paying me to uh, to make this video all they did was uh, be kind and sent me a few uh, items for me to play uh, so that you can also buy now what I have uh, from the shop so you can play with me. Uh, so again thanks to them uh, and uh, let's have a look at them first and then we're gonna create a, a page of course. Uh, I just selected this uh, napkin uh, because <laughs> Uh, I thought it could be a really nice background. I'll just show you. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous background. I love the colors. And I thought this castle was a different one. I never made a napkin journal with castle. So I thought it was different. And by the way, napkins are two sizes. One is this small one and one is the this one and uh, they sell napkins one by one so you don't have to buy a whole package that's why it comes uh, very handy and uh, cost effective uh, and this is the Buddha and I love this uh, I thought it was interesting as well I tried to find also interesting things and look at Frida I think these are also in big sizes if you want so check it out uh, my, nap my napkin journal isn't so big so I thought I could also get the small ones and um, I have a video also uh, that I'm going to link down below where I show you how I make my uh, journals. It's very easy. I'm not a very good hand crafter. If I can do it, <laughs> you can do it. Um, so this is my Frida and I couldn't help uh, getting some flowers too because these colors were look at this I just couldn't resist and uh, I <laughs> this uh, cheetah was so cute with the flowers you know I am a fan of tropics tropical colors and sceneries in the nature I love it and of course I had to have my flamingos um, Sorry, I had to cut because the sun came again. It's a gorgeous day today in London. Uh, lucky to have it. And uh, here is my flamingos. I selected this, although I have uh, many flamingo things, but you can never have too many. And I'm going to show you 
I fell for these gold leaves. They are not gold gold, but they look gold. So, and look at these leaves and the flowers. So it's different, it's justifiable. And these uh, angels, I loved a lot. It says love, peace, hope. I can't believe I'm so excited about napkins, but uh, I love them. Here is a face that I wanted to buy. I don't have many of them, so when you open, it's like this, and you have four. So look, you have you can do four projects with this. Mm. Same tropical scenery. So there are there is a toucan and a parrot and a tiger here, and there are monkeys here. So. You can have a double uh, double page actually double spread. Maybe I can do. Uh, well, I already used the one in the middle. I think next time when I didn't stick them all. Next time uh, when I make a new one, I can do a double page with the whole scenery and butterflies. You can never have too many butterflies. Um, oh, look how gorgeous! And I showed you last time, if you glue these uh, on a cardstock or a paper they and fussy cut, they also become uh, elements, cut, die cut elements. So you don't need to make a background with them. They are very useful. Then I'll show you the rice papers, which are, which are also, also gorgeous. Let me see if the camera is taking all. Yes. Uh, just to make sure. This was I fell in love with the cover co colors, uh, vintagey uh, sort of uh, page, and these can be really nice background. These are cherry flowers, pink, anything pink. And I thought this was different as well. Here. Um, there is a, I don't know if you see, but it's a silhouette, like these are darker, but this is lighter and there's a doors, like a wall of doors, baroque style, something like that. I love it. Uh, and by the way, uh, to make things easy for you, what I might do is, because you might want to get the exact same thing, I cannot do it for the napkins because there is no code or anything but what I can do is I can take the pictures of these codes or like I can just write them um, I'll, uh, I'll put them below at the description area uh, just the codes of these like R1668 so that you can find them easier uh, under this video I'm not going to use them today but if you have an eye just to uh, just that because you like them I'm going to write the codes uh, it's not a it's not an issue for me so this is this this is oh my god I like this so much I think I have these butterflies in a scrap of paper to fussy cut with glitter I am pretty sure I have them and with this design oh my god the girl it's different you know i haven't used these things for a while and i was looking for something different i think this shop has the most uh, kinds of rice papers like it's pages and pages and um, i wasn't lazy to look at them all i'll be honest i spent hours um, and this girl is gorgeous i'm thinking to make a canvas of this girl it deserves a she deserves a nice place to live and, and I I haven't been creating canvases lately and this is uh, from Vagabond collection of Stamperia um, yeah it's Stamperia so if you search for I think Stamperia in, in the same uh, website and this as well this doesn't have a code, code guys uh, so it says Stamperia and no code so this girl uh, and these are Stamperia, so if you filter it Stamperia, I think you will find. This is from Vagabond and I didn't want the other mechanical things, but these houses I want to use as, uh, as a scenery, so that's what I'm going to do. And this, does it have a code? 
um, yeah it has a coat so I'm, I'm going to put the ones have that have coats I'm going to put um, this is all so uh, again thank, thanks to them don't forget to use the code if you decide to shop and let's create something so a slight change of plans I decided to journal on my <coughs> normal journal book which is Moleskine sketchbook and I decided to use one rice paper and maybe a couple of napkins we will see uh, according to the uh, composition which I don't know yet so I'm going to start uh, using this uh, beautiful rice paper um, and it has cherry blossom uh, cherry blossoms on it uh, and I thought it goes well with the flamingo being pink uh, so I'm going to tear a few pieces and stick it on my page as a start I'm not going to stick all the paper on my page which is another option of course uh, but uh, the flamingo napkin is thin uh, so it's going to show the background a little bit so I'm careful that I don't cover it all uh, so that my flamingos don't get lost I'm using my uh, matte medium to stick down my uh, pieces and uh, I'm also covering the rice paper with this uh, matte medium so that uh, when I add color it will be easy for me it won't soak in I'm using my anti-static uh, little pouch powder pouch to go around uh, everywhere by the way I dried my page of course but I'm going to do embossing so I use that tool for the embossing powder not to stick everywhere especially on my papers this is from Stampandus, a set of butterflies and I'm going to take a few uh, to stamp with my Versamark all over my page to create some background. Um, these are not my focal points uh, but I want to create some nice gold uh, items uh, at the background uh, so that it matches the uh, gold leaves that the napkin has. Uh, I think it will look uh, really nice and whimsical with this gold. I'm using wool embossing powder and this is a sparkle uh, gold which has glitter on it. So it is a glitter gold. As you see some of them uh, didn't work, uh, one especially, but it's okay. Uh, I'll leave it like that. Uh, probably it will be covered anyway. Uh, and uh, I did uh, with many uh, butterflies here uh, at the background the same process I just stamp a little bit and then uh, put my embossing powder then uh, heat set it with my uh, heat gun and here is the result how shiny and beautiful it looks with all the embossing this will all stay at the background uh, now it's time to stick my uh, napkin uh, I'm going to take a uh, one set of uh, flamingos and you see if you buy one napkin you have four set of uh, focal points you can use them again and again uh, what I do is actually I share it with my friends even if it's one napkin I'm going I, it's highly unlikely that I'm going to use more than two so with the others I will just cut them and send to my uh, crafty friends uh, all around the world when we uh, exchange uh, stashes uh, so you can buy different different napkins uh, and then uh, share it with your friends exchange them um, one of the uh, butterflies I forgot to heat uh, heat set it uh, so I had to go over it but luckily uh, my napkin covers it anyway so I won't regret the loss of it <laughs> and um, I'm just being careful when I stick the napkin I don't have hard edges because it's so thin I can uh, easily uh, glue it in the middle of the book without worrying about the closure it won't affect it at all and I decided I can also take uh, a few of these leaves because it's so thin I can make them disappear into the page here and there uh, to complete uh, to fill some of the gaps that I have in the borders or uh, anywhere else on my page uh, as you see it doesn't even cover my uh, the legs of my flamingos uh, so and uh, they look really nice as an idea you can always uh, mix and match your uh, napkins too uh, if I had say a pink flowers somewhere else I would just take them and uh, uh, in little pieces you can uh, just collage them into your uh, scenery you don't have to use one napkin uh, I took my Arteza paints uh, to work on the background now 
Uh, I took a few colors, green, yellow, or blue, and I'm going to bring in pink later. You will find the links down below at the description area for these craft paints. Uh, they are perfect for mixed media. And uh, as you see, I'm mixing uh, my colors with white here because I want the pastel tones. Um, maybe you don't see, but in the rice paper that I glued down, uh, it's all at the background very soft pastel tones and I'm going to continue mixing these colors with this rice paper so that I have that look and also I don't uh, cover up my flamingos and other uh, leaves that I have on the page so I'm mixing all of them with white you don't have to have all the colors in your stash as you see uh, I didn't have these colors but I'm just creating them myself if you mix any color with white, you'll get lighter, uh, different colors. Or if you mix colors with, between themselves, uh, you will get all the colors you want. You just need to try it. Um, and uh, I'm just uh, dabbing these paints uh, softly on my uh, page. I didn't gesso, but uh, more or less all the page is covered with matte medium now. So it allows me to move it easily. Uh, and uh, I'm just... Uh, spreading it with my uh, finger uh, I am being uh, gentle here uh, because uh, I'm not going to slap the paint all over the page so I'm just uh, painting a little bit and then uh, spreading it with my finger while I'm uh, coloring the background I'll leave you here with a little bit music and come back I think I am more or less satisfied with this I mix all of these uh, colors and you see uh, everything is blended and uh, with a nice pastel very subtle background I feel like I need a, a border though so I took out my Paris Dusk uh, um, ink by Memento and I'm going to just uh, go around the edges and give a little bit darkness and frame to my page I'm also feeling we need a little bit movement at the background so next I'm going to grab my uh, script uh, stamp by Penny Black and a very subtle uh, pink uh, ink uh, in my stash and I'm just going to uh, stamp here and there uh, in the empty places I think it looks uh, much better now uh, doesn't look so empty at the background and uh, finally I'm going to do some splashes uh, since there are pink elements, I just wanted to do a little bit pink splashes. I'm using a dark pink here. Uh, and afterwards, of course, the white uh, will follow. But I think uh, this all brings it uh, together. I really love how these uh, two uh, rice paper and the napkin uh, creates one beautiful page. Uh, 
uh, and I'm going to uh, close it, uh, finalize it with a sentiment that I have in my stash from 7 Dot Studio collection. Um, doesn't matter, you can also print, write yourself. Uh, I'm just going around this sentiment with the blue ink as well. Bring me a dream <laughs> because it looks like a dream. Uh, it's so beautiful. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe or leave a comment down below. It really helps me to reach more people. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.